Hi, I'm Chris. And today we will assemble the Hello Kitty City Scooter from Dynacraft. Assembling this electric scooter should only take about 20 minutes, plus time for the first battery charge cycle. Assembly of the City Scooter should only be done by an adult, and children should not be allowed to handle small parts of the unassembled City Scooter. Before we start, you'll need to grab a couple of things from the toolbox. One or two 15 millimeter wrenches, a Phillips screwdriver, and a bicycle pump with a standard Schrader valve. If your pump doesn't have a built-in pressure meter, you'll need a separate gauge. Scissors or a box cutter may be helpful for removing packaging. Other wrenches are included with the scooter. It's also a good idea to have some white grease for lubrication. Open the box and make sure all parts are present. You can check against the list in the assembly manual. If any parts are missing or damaged, or if you have any trouble with the assembly, don't return to the store. Call Dynacraft at 1-800-288-1560. We strongly recommend reading the manual, or watching this video all the way through before you begin the assembly. And you should read the entire owner's manual supplied with the city scooter before letting anyone ride it. This video is not a substitute for the manual, which contains very important information for the safe use of the city scooter. First, we'll install the handlebars. Begin by removing this plastic cap. Apply a little white grease to the steerer tube. Slide the handlebar assembly into the steerer tube. Check to be sure that the wedge nut is loose and that the cables are smoothly positioned and out of the way. This is the minimum insertion mark and you must install the assembly deeply enough that this line isn't visible. Next, use the included 6mm Allen wrench to tighten the bolt at the top of the tube. Once it's firmly in place, it's properly installed. Be careful not to over tighten any bolts, since they could break. Now we'll install the front fender. Place the scooter on its side or upside down, pop out the shipping support, and remove the two screws on the mounting bracket with a Phillips head screwdriver. Next, put the fender into the fork. Then slide on the mounting bracket like this. Install and tighten the two screws. Leave the scooter in this position to install the front wheel. Insert the wheel onto the fork. Check the sidewall tire for the correct direction of rotation. The symbol will generally look like this arrow. Make sure these lock washer tabs get placed into these holes. Now set the scooter upright and tighten the nuts with a 15 millimeter wrench. This is where a second wrench might be helpful. Try to tighten the nuts evenly and make sure the wheel isn't skewed. Check again to make sure the lock washer tabs are in place. Now give it a spin to ensure it rolls smoothly. Using your pump, inflate the tires to the recommended pressure that's printed on the sidewall. Never go over the maximum pressure. It's a good idea to check the tires before every ride. The scooter's assembled. Before we can ride it though, we need to check a few things. First, go over all the different parts, making sure every nut and bolt is nice and tight. Nothing should be wobbling and the handlebars should be aligned with the front wheel. Now examine the brake function. Give the rear wheel a spin and make sure that the brakes aren't contacting the wheel. With the scooter rolling, squeeze the lever. It should stop quickly and smoothly without a lot of noise. If the brakes are rubbing or if they don't stop the scooter, see the manual for detailed instructions on how to make an adjustment. So now it's time to charge the battery. This first time it can take up to 18 hours. Align the groove in the plug with the socket, then plug the cable into the port. Next, place it in a wall outlet. Only use the charger that was supplied with the scooter. Once the light is green, the scooter is good to go. Always be sure the rider is wearing a helmet and safety gear, as well as appropriate clothing and shoes while using the ride on. Your manual has details on this. You should also check the manual for specific operations in appropriate environments, and make sure the rider takes it easy while he or she is getting a feel for the scooter. The only thing that's left to do is turn it on and head out for a cruise. And don't forget to turn the power switch to the off position when you're done. So, that's how we put together the Hello Kitty scooter. Remember, if you have any questions or problems during assembly, don't hesitate to call Dynacraft. Enjoy the ride! 